Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, we're going to go through um, linear relations today. So I want you to follow along, take some notes for yourself, and then I'm going to have some practice soon. So what we're going to look at today is basically how we can go from a situation to a table of values. to a graph, to an equation, okay? And then that equation would lead back to a situation. Now, ultimately where we wanna get is if I give you a table of values, you can create a situation, or if I give you a graph, you can create a table of values. So basically you could get from anywhere to anywhere. Okay, we'll get to there soon. Um, our ultimate goal today is how to write an equation going through this process. Okay, so let's come up. I did this online yesterday. Let's go through the, um, the process of, I think her name is from Miss Nicholson's class is Jalyn. So let's say Jalyn um, is a gym instructor. Okay. Okay, and uh, she's gonna be hired by the Chatham Gym Club. Sorry, Jalyn, I don't know the name of it. Um, and she said that, well, I'm gonna say that, let's say she can make $20 per hour. So remember that is the situation, okay? And I wanna to go to now a table of values. So how do we get to that table of values? By the way, that's called a T-chart from your grade eight teachers, okay? So to get to that table of values, well, we need our variables. What we're talking about here in our variables are, well, basically, she is going to work a number of hours and she is going to make money. And what we have to decide is, well, how much will she make if she works zero hours, one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, or five hours. So if she makes zero, if she works zero hours, um, she would get $20 per hour. So 20 times zero would just be, she would make $0. If she went in and worked one hour, uh, she gets $20 per hour, she would get $20. If she worked two hours, two times the 20 would be $40. Let me put these in here. If she worked three hours, again, she would get 60. Four hours, she would get 80. And five hours, she would get $100, okay? So that's kind of how we go from the situation to the table of values using basically just reasoning skills and multiplication. So if you were to jump right to, for example, I don't know, nine hours, Well, nine times $20 an hour would be $180 there. So now we're gonna go from the table of values to the graph, okay? So I'm gonna put the graph, I'll put it right beside the table of values. I'm trying to do this on blank paper all the time so you guys can do the same. So because so you don't have to have a printer at home in order to follow along. So I'm gonna create a table of values here. Oh, sorry, a graph. And no, I don't have graph paper at home, so I'm gonna try my best here. And I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. And that's all I'm gonna to go to is five hours. One hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours. And I'm gonna put the title down here, hours. And up here, I'm not gonna focus on the nine. I'm just gonna focus up to $100. So I'm gonna to go to 100, so I'm gonna go up by tens. That means I need 10 lines here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And I'm only gonna label every other one even though every one represents 10. So that's 10, that's 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 
90 and 100. Okay, so now we're at the point where, oh, first, always, always, always label your axis. So this is the money. If you were in the um, group lesson yesterday, we called it the paycheck. Ultimately, you can call it whatever you want. If you want to call it, um, it doesn't matter how much I make. You just need to call it something, okay? So now, we have here, this is our zero, zero. If she works zero hours, I'll do one of these. If she works zero hours, she gets zero dollars. One hour, twenty dollars. Two hours, forty dollars. Three hours, sixty dollars. Four hours, eighty. And five hours, she makes one hundred. Okay. So you can see, I just did it by hand, so it's not gonna be a perfect line, but this, if this were on grid paper, it would be a perfect line. And we can graph this like this. So there is my line. And again, in a perfect world on grid paper, all of those would be exactly on the line. So that is our graph, okay? So to recap, we have gone from our situation. We created a table of values from our situation. Now we have drawn a graph. Okay, so where I wanna to get to now is the actual equation. So the equation is involved, if you were in my class, uh, just the day before March break, we talked about how to make a linear equation, but we didn't really go through it too much. Uh, Miss Nicholson's class, I believe you have not yet, so I want you to just try to pay attention. The basics of an equation, I'm gonna go up here for it because I need some room. The basics of an equation are well, you have your first variable, your, your dependent variable. So always your dependent variable, and that's money. I'm going to call that M, and I'm going to call my hours H. So you're going to have your dependent variable, M, is equal. Well, the money is equal to something, okay? So the money is equal to something. And it always goes your initial value plus your rate of change times your other, your dependent variable. So your money is going to equal your initial value plus your rate of change times your other variable. So now we need to find out, well, what the heck is the initial, what the heck is the initial value and what the heck is the rate of change, okay? So let's take a look at this. And I think in my next example, the initial value will stick out more. But let's take a look at the rate of change first. So the rate of change, I'm gonna do just underline in blue, using my kids' markers here. So the rate of change. So in this situation, our rate of change is what is changing, okay? What's going up or down every single time method? Well, in this case, it's the $20 per hour. It's changing because it says it's being per hour. It's not just a one-time fee. It's a $20 per hour. Where do we find it in our, where do we find it in our um, table of values? Well, we can see here, it's not this, it's not this, it's where, what I'm increasing by every single time. I'm going up plus 20. From 20 to 40 is plus 20. From 40 to 60 is plus 20. And so on and so forth. Again, I'm gonna leave this 90 out, or this nine out, this was just an example, but because it doesn't go up by one, I can't do a rate of change there. So that's where it is in the situation. This is where it is in the table of values. And where it is is in the graph is, well, you have to look at the line and the points, okay? When I go over one hour, I go up 20. I go over one hour, over one, up 20. Over another hour, up 20. So where it is in the graph is basically what it increases by every single time Every time it goes over one, what it increases by. So when I look at this here, I'm gonna have my money is equal to, well, my initial value. I haven't gone over initial value yet, so let's look at initial value. So the question is, is how much does she get to show up? Does she get anything to show up? So if she showed up and worked zero hours, does she get anything? Well, no, a situation doesn't have anything, okay? So there is no initial value in here, which actually means it's zero. And we can see that in the table of values, if she works zero hours, she gets zero dollars, okay? So right here, 
is my initial value. Do it in green. Obviously, green is running out. So that is where my initial value is there. And where my initial value is in the graph is where it reaches this line, the y-intercept. And right down here, it's at zero. Okay. So what I have for my equation is my initial value is equal to, sorry, my money is equal to zero initial value plus a rate of change of $20. And that's $20 for the number of hours. Okay. And that's where we're going to end off this. I'm going to do one more example. Um, and this example will have an initial value. But just to take a look at everything here. I don't know if I can zoom out. You can see my, uh, my makeshift stand that I'm working with. And there is everything. So feel free to pause, write notes, ask questions. I'm going to have some uh, open time online tomorrow to ask any questions and do some examples. I'm also going to post some homework uh, in a bit.